Good morning, Roger Scholars. Today is Wednesday, May 6. Today we have a birthday. Benjamin in Mrs. Cosart's classroom. Happy birthday, Benjamin. I hope you have a wonderful day. We've been following along with some of our eighth graders. Have you been seeing the updates on Facebook? We have learned about Dawson and Katie. Dawson, we found out, wants to be a gamer or a marine biologist or a geologist when he grows up. Those sound like really interesting careers. And Katie wants to be a pediatric nurse or a pediatric doctor. I'm sure she'll be great at either one of those. We also have an update from Joshua. Joshua has told us that he loves working on puzzles and maps. Have you guys been doing any puzzles while you've, you've been quarantined? I've been working on a puzzle. It's been a lot of fun for me. I also wanted to tell you about the upcoming Monday Fun Day. We had book day this last week. This week coming up is called I'm Proud Of. What does that mean? That means that in your picture or video, you share something that you're proud of. It could be a perfect spelling test. It could be that you finally learned how to ride a bike without training wheels. It could be some beautiful sidewalk chalk art, something that you have made or accomplished that you're proud of. We wanna share those celebrations with you. Organization means keeping your things and even your thoughts neat and ready to use. Organization is more than just keeping things tidy. You can also manage your time and be organized. And here's a tip for that. Make a to-do list of all the important things you have to do that day. Maybe put stars by the ones that really need to be done first thing. And make sure that when you're taking breaks, you're using that time wisely too. One suggestion could be to choose a reward for the end of the day once you've accomplished the things on your to-do list. Maybe it's playing a game with your sibling. Maybe it's reading a book that you really love. Maybe it's even a special dessert treat. Something that will be like a carrot to you to keep you motivated and excited to finish your to-do list. Florence Kennedy said, don't agonize, organize. The answer to our last question is, Peter denied knowing Jesus three times. The question for today is, what does a tadpole turn into? One more time. What does a tadpole turn into? Have a wonderful Wednesday.